Thanks for joining us at Ride On Replicas, where we're proud to bring you the best scale model kit reviews on the planet. This review covers the re-release of the Stone Woods & Cook original Swindler 2 41 Willis. It reveals SSP Kit Series limited production kit, and it's in 125th scale. Now this kit's been released to times in a variety of box arts uh, with different drag race teams. Uh, but in this case, you get a pretty good rendition of the original Swindler 2 kit. Now, the die cast, uh, or the recast, is of the original moldings. It does show some flash on the parts, and it'll take a little extra work as the chassis is marked 1982. You get 155 parts uh, molded in white chrome, uh, and some clear acetate, and some vinyl tires. It's a skill level 3 for the advanced builder due to some finicky suspension pieces and thin decals. You also get a highly detailed Oldsmobile motor. Now the decals are replications uh, of the original ones uh, and give you the Swindler 2 and the A or B options, but the majority of them are in blue for the light blue body Swindler 2 version. When you're done, it's about 7 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 2 and 3 quarter inches high. We begin by building the motor, and we're going to assemble the block and the intake, and then assemble the block bottom with the two uh, block tops, and then add the oil pan, and install the intake rail and the heads. Now paint this unit uh, as a uh, semi-gloss black, and then assemble the blower with the front and rear covers. Now add the top cover and assemble the scoop halves and install those on top of the blower. Install the blower onto the intake now and on the block add the valley cover and install the blower unit on top of that. I wanted to add a little extra detail so I decided to put uh, a pre-wired distributor in place on the motor. Now you can buy them, uh, but I just made this one out of some styr styrene tubing and some uh, 30 gauge wire from uh, some computer uh, cable, and uh, you just assemble it with some super glue. And it looks pretty good. Now uh, I used um, an old wiring di diagram as well to to wire the motor. First, we're going to uh, drill out a hole in the uh, in the fuel pump there because the uh, the former uh, magneto or distributors is mounted right on top of that, and uh, with that done, we'll be using uh, you know super glue here to install the fuel pump, and then um, you drill out the locations on the heads for these spark plugs, and then you cut a small part of the uh, the black wire uh, for boots, slide it onto each wire, then you uh, glue the distributor into place. Uh, with some super glue and you match the wires up using the diagram and cut those to fit so they're just the right size and our length then slide each wire into place with the boot at the end to make it look correct and super glue the wires into place one at a time you can discard the kit magneto or just put it into your parts box get these parts out of the kit to finish up the motor the transmission halves bell housing and the dust cover are assembled and painted semi-gloss black the oil filter is assembled in painted steel color. The shift knob then is painted black. The motor front oil tube and belt are assembled and painted flat black with steel pulleys and oil filler cap. Now decal 15 can be added to the belt. Now assemble the headers and the collectors. Install the transmission into place. Add the oil filter. Install the headers with some super glue and then add the shifter. Now attach the belt assembly to the motor's front. Gather these pieces to assemble the rear suspension. Now put together the axle and then assemble the bumper mounts and the push bar to the frame. The axle, frame and the shocks are semi-gloss black and the radius rods and traction bars are steel color. The inner axle is just left unpainted. Well, this is a good place for super glue to add strength to the uh, suspension parts. So put all those together with some super glue, assemble the axle and radius rods, then add the traction bars, install the axle unit to the frame, add the shocks, and slide the inner axle into the axle. Now we can get these parts out for the front suspension. Assemble the axle along with the leaf springs. On the left side, add the top spindle, the bottom spindle, and the steering link. Then on the right side, 
add the top and bottom spindle. Now paint this as a unit semi-gloss black. Paint the tie rod steel and then add it to the tie rod linkage and add the retainer caps that are painted flat black. Install this uh, unit onto the frame. Now paint the shocks black and add them to the frame and the leaf spring. Find these pieces in the kit and next we'll be installing the motor. Now paint the transmission mount semi-gloss black and then attach the motor into place after you put that in and the drive shaft is then steel and the sway bar is gunmetal color. Now slide the drive shaft into the differential and the transmission uh, and mount the motor to the frame. Now add the rear sway bar to the differential. Gather up these pieces and install the radiator. The hoses, the radiator and the front pan are flat black. The radiator cap is gold. Then assemble the gas tank uh, there with the chrome pieces and install it onto the pan. Now add the hoses to the radiator and install the radiator connecting the hoses to the motor. Now install the front pan. We'll start the interior next and the interior pan has the copyright scripts that should be removed before you assemble it. You can use some filler to uh, or some putty uh, to fill in the um, indented script and then uh, a razor blade or sandpaper to remove the raised script uh, for a nice smooth finish. Spray paint the floor pan flat black and the rear trunk panels and trunk supports are body color. Now install the support bars and only glue the end of the pin in the retainer. Install the sides and back panels in place and then add the gas pedal. The seats, uh, roll bar pad and rear panel are flat white. Now decal 28 is uh, goes on the roll bar pad panel and decals 25 are seat inserts. Decal 26 is the package tray. Now we've got 11, 12, 13 and 14 decals and those are seat belts. Now install the back panel to the car and add the roll bar to the roll bar pad and install that. Now add the seats to the floor and install the floor onto the chassis. So gather up these pieces and paint the steering column and the linkage black as well as the master cylinder. Install the master cylinder onto the frame and into the hole in the floor. Now install the steering column into place on the frame and add the linkage to the suspension and connect them to the column. Gather these parts out to assemble the front tires and decal 6 is used to create a white wall tire. Now I use some setting solution to make the detail, decal conform to the tire properly. Now add the front rim and the back rim into the tire and then paint the brakes aluminum. Install the pin into the brakes and super glue the brakes to the inside of the rim. Now to create a used tire look, I pressed and rolled the tread of the tire onto a sheet of uh, sandpaper at about 220 grit on a flat surface. We can work on the rear tires and note that there's riding only on one side of the sidewall which you should place to the outside. So then to create a used look again, I pressed and rolled the tread area on a sheet of 220 sandpaper on a flat surface. Then install the rim. Uh, front rim and then the rear rim and then paint the uh, brakes aluminum and those are installed onto the axle spindles of the car. The instructions have you uh, placing the front tires on without any glue but there's really no way to do that properly. Attach the brake to the spindle with some glue and then on the rear tires you can slide the brakes on the axle and then super glue the rim to the axles there. Your glues, your uh, wheels won't turn but uh, they'll be stable and in place and look proper if you align them and make sure that they stay in place when you glue them into position. The uh, model construction is coming along very nicely now and at this point you should have something look uh, like this on the underside of the chassis and here's the uh, rolling chassis upon which to build the rest of the model kit. These parts in the kit and uh, including the hinges here along with the doors and the and the trunk and the hood panel and we'll start prepping the body for painting. Now that you can install those hinges uh, so that they're in place prior to painting the model. We're going to install the blower so we'll need to um, uh, remove the cutout here that's scribed on the inside of the hood. So we'll use the uh, sharp blade of a hobby knife uh, and uh, dragging it across on the back side, not the cutting side of the blade, until it cuts through and uh, it's free. So there's some old lines also 
on the fenders and down the front that need to be uh, sanded and removed with uh, some fine sandpaper uh, and, and some sand sticks. And once all the flash and the blemishes, blemishes are removed from the body, it's ready to be primed. Now we'll rough up the body parts for adhesion by using some 800 to 1000 grit uh, wet or dry paper and sand all the parts uh, on the exterior surfaces and then uh, rinse them off and let them air dry. Now once that's done we're going to get uh, a primer coat on and then wet sand the body parts again and finally uh, start with some light mist coats and spray a light metallic blue paint on the body and parts and then give it some wet coats and coat the interior and exterior completely with the light blue paint. After the color coat has dried we'll apply the decals to the body. Um, make sure that you're using plenty of water, warm water that is, and let the decal soak for about 30 seconds and then when you pull it out let it set on a table or something where the water won't soak in anywhere and um, let it set for about another minute. On the body of your vehicle Go ahead and add some warm water to the surface or use some of the aftermarket setting solutions so that it helps uh, the decal uh, contour to the uh, uh, conform to the contours and, and stick well to the body. Once you have all the decals into place, uh, let them dry overnight and when that's uh, when they're completely dry, give the uh, body a coat of clear spray in order to seal them into place. The dashboard is next and we're going to paint that body color. Decal 16 is then used to uh, supply the dash face and the small chrome instrument panel is added to the bottom and then decals 29 and 30 are used for the dial faces on that. Included in the kit is a uh, panel of clear acetate to cut the windows from and in the instructions you'll find some templates to use so cut out the windows and use some clear crystal clear or some Elmer's type white glue to install them. And there's a chrome trim for the rear windows to install those. And at this time also add the dash to the interior of the body and decals 27 onto the headliner. The instructions are a little unclear but the dash should go on the bottom of the firewall and not the top as it appears to be in the instructions. Now we can assemble the doors and the door panel is painted body color with a white insert and decals 23 and 24 for the pleats. Now install the panel to the door and add the inner and outer handles. Now install the uh, exterior chrome trim piece on the outside of the door too. Fit the doors into the hinges on the forward section of the body on the door frame there and install the doors onto the body. Using the piece of acetate that you cut out for the front window, glue that into the frame and install that. Now you can slide the body uh, over the chassis and into place. The trunk is installed at this time too and the motor will stick out of the body and eventually through the opening of the hood as you wiggle the body down onto the chassis. We'll use these pieces and install the brake and the steering wheel. The wheel is black and the pads on the pedal are black. Now the column support is attached to the dash bottom and the wheel is added. Then add the pedal to the brake lever. We can use these parts to complete the rear of the body. Now paint the tail light orbs stop light red. Add the bumper in place now on its mounts and then add the trunk lid and the handle and the light plate, license plate and the light holder there and cut the plate out of the decal sheet and glue it to the plate holder. Now add the tail lights into place. Again you'll have to consult the instructions uh, to determine which parts for the front end uh, apply to the vehicle that you're building or replicating. So choose those parts and install the grill, the headlights and the hood latches. Snap the hood into place and then add the trim strips to the hood, the rear quarters and the kick pan. Depending on the version that you decided to build you'll have a few pieces left over and of course the corresponding decals. There you have it. This is not a kit for the newbie. Uh, it's is definitely a skill level three because of the fragile uh, suspension parts and decals and the additional detail that they put on it. So if you've got some advanced skills, looking on the good side, it's got a nicely detailed Oldsmobile engine and some simple wiring can make it look pretty nice. 
and it's uh, got a detailed headliner panel. The trunk does open, although there's an empty space back there, so if you really want to finish it off, you'll have to build that from scratch. The chassis assembly is touchy. It's definitely for the advanced builder. The rear end sort of floats there when it's installed, and the front end isn't much better. There's no convenient way to attach the tires to the spindles. Overall, the body's pretty straight, and the doors do fit pretty nicely, but the trunk doesn't, and you'll need to do some edge work there to finish it in. Once the car is finished, it's pretty solid, and it looks great. Now, this is a nostalgia build, actually a documented type of car, and once you're done, if you use a lot of patience and some super glue, uh, this thing will look really nice for your shelf. So, if I'd, I was you, I'd buy one and put it on my shelf. We hope you like this premium step-by-step -step model kit review. So that you don't miss any more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. But you can find us on Facebook and at our website, rightonreplicas.com. Thanks!